Hello everybody, Steve here. Hey, I'm gonna try something a little bit challenging. I hope it works out. I'm gonna try to bake bread in my zebra pot over the firebox stove. Okay, I'm gonna start off by actually creating a Swedish fire torch because I wanna have a whole bunch of hot coals. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try to hurry. I'm getting a little bit of a late start and uh, I still gotta go to work today, so. Let's go ahead and get this going. So there we have our firebox. Go ahead and find it a nice level home. And slide the ash pan in. And then I'm gonna take my tall sticks that I've cut and I'm gonna try to arrange them in the firebox in such a way that they'll stand up for me good. Well, these are kind of all different lengths and it's kind of wild looking, but I think it'll get me some hot coals pretty quickly. So there's a big chunk of fire starter right down the middle. And as that gets hot, it will fall further and further down in, which will be good. And uh, we should have ourselves some really nice hot coals fairly quickly. Now let me show you what I have here for my bread. And I need to get this rising. So here I have my loaf of bread, and uh, I need to get it to rise. So it's really cold right now. So I'm going to go ahead and set up um, my oven the way I plan to use it. And while this is burning to create hot coals, I'm going to warm up my bread warm up my dough I should say. So here I have the zebra, the 16 centimeter pot. And what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna get a grill plate out of here. I'm gonna put that in the pot. So that works really nice as, as a little uh, oven rack that I can set my bread on, on top of in there. Okay, but I am going to add my, uh, my rocks uh, because I want some thermal mass. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide these rocks underneath my tray or underneath my oven rack. And that'll give me a little bit of a kind of like a flywheel for the heat, a little bit of thermal mass kind of store that heat so that every time I open the door of my oven it doesn't just cool right down in there and not recover. So then, let's see, I've got this all situated a little bit wrong. I need to I need to turn this till it's till the clips are vertical. And then I'll slide my bread in there. I'm trying to do this all with one hand. So I'll see if I can do that. And then this will be the oven door. So that'll go on there. And then when you straighten out the handle, that locks on the oven door. So now that I've got some flame coming out here, and I have to apologize because I can barely see my screen on my camera. So I'm having a hard time telling whether I'm in frame or not. So. I'm just going to go ahead and hold this above the flame a little bit, which you can't see that. So let's go ahead and adjust a little bit. So I'm going to hold this just up here above the flame or try to find a way to kind of prop it in here, keeping it horizontal. And that'll get my, my dough warmed up. While I'm producing hot coals, my bread can be rising is the idea. So that might even balance there pretty good. So that'll get some heat going in there and get my bread rising for me. And uh, that should work out good. Uh, I just wanted to show you this little uh, wire piece that I made. And I just made this out of an old uh, metal hanger, which they're kind of getting hard to find these days. But that just fits right there into this uh, 
this loop handle bracket and what that's intended to do is just hold some hot coals on top from just falling off of the sides. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that fire is burnt right down and I think I'm ready to kind of move forward with this project. I hope that my bread has risen enough. Let's take a look at that here in just a second. So rather than toss these coals back in actually, I'm going to keep a hold of them. Try to break them off like that. So they still have some fuel in them. So they'll last longer. Woo! Tell you what, that's a hot fire. That one's mostly wood. We'll put it back in. We'll steal all these nice hot coals. Let's take a look at our bread and see if it's... See now, that's still almost too hot to touch. I mean, I can touch it, but I can't hold it like that. So I'm going to use this piece of carbon felt and try to open this with one hand. See what this bread looks like. Oh, it hasn't risen very much. It needs more time. Timing might not work out that great. Well, let's hope for the best. I might put that over the heat just a little bit more. And I'm going to set it in the sunshine. And if I need to, I'll put more wood in this and uh, I'll make this work. I'm not gonna give up. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken some hot coals and I've spread them out here in front of the firebox. And what I'm trying to do there is make them last a little longer. You know, if they're in a pile, they're gonna be that much hotter. And uh, I just want them to last as long as possible uh, so that we give this dough a little time to rise. I'm just gonna kick a few hot coals out here and there and I'll use those up on top, but uh, I'll just compress this a little bit so that these will be nice and long lasting. And uh, I'm gonna put the pot on. I'm gonna rotate my firebox out this direction. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set my pot on there because I think it could handle getting a little hotter than it is. Okay, so just one last check on how this uh, rise operation is coming along. And it's almost to the top of the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and add the hot coals on the top of this. And let's just go ahead and get it up to baking temperature. I'll go ahead and stack these hot coals up on here. And once again, I think anybody could make one of these little racks. Um, you know, it's just any, any kind of sturdy wire. You should be able to fashion something that will just keep these hot coals from sliding off the sides. And that'll just give us a little bit of heat on top, quite a bit of heat on bottom, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I wanted to check this. Let's see if it's cool enough to touch right there on the bridge of that handle. And then let's just look in here. Okay, so it's risen quite a bit more. That really looks nice. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit on this and make sure that it starts cooking, you know, fairly fast now. Close our oven door. And I'm actually going to, let me pan this out. I'm actually going to take this off and I'm going to put the firebox stove in a position that will support this pot horizontally at a little higher level.
portion of the handle has gotten too hot to touch. So I'm going to use stainless steel tongs, which is nice because it kind of holds your whole setup while you leverage that handle over. And it is cooking now and it's golden brown on the top. I don't think I'll add any more fuel on top, but I think we're in good shape. I think it's actually cooking now and it's actually springing back up, but I think it needs a little more time. Because there's just a little bit of it that stays dented uh, when I touch it like that, but I'm not gonna add any more fuel on top. Okay, I just went for a little bit of a walk and I'm back now and, no, oh, there's my timer going off. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. Wow. It's golden brown. Oh my gosh. All right, let's take a look at this here. Oh wow. That's beautiful. It's a nice dark brown on top and it's golden brown on the sides. And I think it's done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Let me see. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pot grabber on here. That way I have a secure hold of it. Look at that. I baked bread out in the sagebrush. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can get this to come out. Oh. Okay, the crust looks a little darker than the top. So I had a little more heat on the bottom than I did on the top. But it's not burnt. It's pretty dark brown there on the bottom. So maybe a full flame, maybe intermittent flame will be the way to go. I'm gonna let this rest here for a second. I'm gonna come back and cut it and put some butter on it and try it out. I can't wait. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it. I'm just gonna cut a nice thick piece. I brought out my bread knife because I knew it'd be soft. Oh, and it is definitely done. I probably let it go a little longer than I should have. Oh, but it's sure gonna be good. It's definitely not doughy, and I guess I would rather have it be a little... It's not going to be dry, because I'm eating it fresh like this. But, uh... Man, that feels so nice, a warm bread in my hand. Let's see. And it's got a really nice crust all the way around it. And I'm hoping that the bottom isn't dark enough to be bitter. I'm hoping it's just dark enough to make it taste even better. A little bit of jam. Oh, yeah, it's super crusty. Can you see that? I can't see my screen. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's fun stuff. I can't wait to do this for the family. <laughs> wow, that's good. bottom is just a little bit crusty. So I'm just going to leave it down there and that'll be my little cutting board so I don't have to take my knife all the way to the rock. I should have had my butter sitting in the sun. It's kind of cold and hard. Warm bread camping. That's going to be fun. The kids will remember that one forever. And I could make loaf after loaf, you know, maybe make three loaves and just 
have a big bread feast with the family. Oh, that's good stuff. This is breakfast for me. Turned out great. It's not in the least bit dry. Maybe it would be after it completely cooled down, but I don't think this bread's ever gonna cool down. It's gonna get gobbled up. Cool, well, thank you everybody for watching. And uh, check out my website, fireboxstove.com. You know, everything you've seen here is available there. Um, you know, even the stainless steel tongs, the firebox stove, the zebra pots, uh, and these zebra pots are improved with our zebra pot clips that allow this to, to happen. And uh, a lot of other stuff, you know, for camping and backpacking, bushcraft. Check it out, fireboxstove.com. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Hello, hon? Hey, are you still at home? Oh, good. I'm going to bring you a piece of hot bread. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it turned out awesome. You're going to love it. I'm going to hurry it down before it cools down. Love you. Bye.